All right, so it, uh, it all really just comes down to Usopp, doesn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. Today we have episode 76 and 77 of our One Piece watch through. Once again, everybody else is entombed in wax and then Luffy's just, I guess, under under this trance still. He's having a lovely time at the picnic. We're gonna hop right into it and see what Usopp can do. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. Let's get started with the episodes. This is a recap. Oh my gosh! How far back do we go in the beginning? This is a that recap oh my 338 404 we're still going almost there almost there oh my gosh we broke five minutes five minute recap with the intro we made it we're breaking records out here time to shine usopp well i have to get it's usopp and kadu he he does have a little bit of an assistant oh so his his idea was to smack Luffy to get it off of. I mean, oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. His friend was the target. We're still going? Oh, he had the invisible ones. That's right. As long as Kadu is fine. Oh, I'm just kidding. I think Usopp would be okay too, though. Everything explodes from this man. So it's not just boogers. It's boogers, his kicks, his breath. I'm guessing his spit. He just bur yeah, I was about to say he burned his shirt off, bro. Now you get it. That'd be disastrous if she if she painted his skin though. Bro. Bro. <laughs> I for for some reason I haven't even thought about Sanji. He was never trapped or engaged in wax or anything. Man's just been chilling. He's been waiting for Zoro to see what he caught. He's right. Oh. Oh, that's where they were hanging out beforehand, where they were hiding. He's like, hmm, curious. Maybe Sanji will actually play a part in it. Barely, probably. I think Luffy's a little bit too mad to let you trap him now. What is he using? Why does that sound like like a mech? What? The mechanics of this just blow my mind. 42 million, sheesh. Took down a bounty higher than Luffy. Bro, that's actually a crazy form though. Yeah, I mean, it's an absurdly strong armor. Yeah. Like that probably rivals that of like Don Krieg's armor. <laughs> Fight! Okay. So she's gonna paint the armor. Oh no, she's throwing that at Luffy. Oh, he did tell her to paint it. That is a clean paint job, actually. He looks so cool. Bro. Okay, Mr. Three just like power spiked so hard. Oh no. He didn't realize like how it was working. Mm. Wouldn't that hurt them though? Did Luffy just think they were like dead dead? Yeah, I mean, it's probably hardening fast and they're just in encased in there. I want to get a look at them in there. Probably being, it's probably like being buried alive, honestly. Like I said, though, I don't know how much it matters that the bullets are invisible because, like, would you actually be able to dodge them? Oh, well, Sanji's coming. He might make the difference here. Dude. He's actually really intimidating. <gasps> oh. Is he going to, like, burn it? Oh, no. Kadu! Attack! Yeah, he does want to try and burn it. Go, Kadu! Dude. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's just torture, bro! Oh my gosh. Just slowly crushing him. <laughs> Bob and Weave, Kadu! Bob and Weave! He's actually getting the rope all around it. Oh! Just toss him, Luffy! He's got him! Okay, do a lot of options? Oh, shoot! Even while being crushed, he soaked it! His beautiful creation! 
you put the cut there? Honestly, Kadu has been the standout MVP from the, this entire like sequence of fights. It's absurd. Olmi has made all the difference in the world. Dude, they're melting. That's gotta be painful either way. He's melting his suit too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The giant is it's destroyed. He's just running. Lost to fire. What are you gonna do? Finish it? Oh! Luffy, grab him! Akiji with her leg! He's like, mommy! Yes! Boom! Hell yeah. Okay, where's Zoro? Yeah, you have quite a bit thus far. The Zoro's coming. Oh, or Usopp. Yeah. Or did he plan something? Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Wait, he did talk about making that, didn't he? He did. Back in uh, Lock Town, I think. And I'm pretty sure I was like, okay, what, what purpose would that serve? Oh, my God. <laughs> Lost to hot sauce. He's just gonna blow up. Oh. He's apologizing. There he is. I was waiting for it. Flaming Onigiri. It's beautiful. It's glorious. Dude, they are rolling them now. They're fighting with passion. What about uh, Broggy? Yeah, that was sick. He's down. Gonna have to chase after Mr. Three. Oh, there's Broggy. I love how Sanji hasn't shown up yet. Yo. Oh. His eyes. Gotta go find him. Shit, they're chasing him down. Get him, Luffy. Why do I feel like Sanji's gonna just like casually come across them? I don't think you can be laughing right now. You can pretend like Luffy's trapped, but I'm just gonna start smacking all of them. I'm shocked Mr. Three has this much confidence right now. Really, you're saying that right now. It is true though that this is like anti Luffy because he just hits what's in front of him. He wouldn't typically think about how to find the real one. Or maybe he's gonna catch us off guard and actually zero in on the right one. He's actually thinking it through, I'm pretty sure. I think he's figured it out. I don't know how, but he actually did it. Oh my gosh. Luby actually shows up. The intellectual. It just took him a second. He just sat there quietly analyzing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no shot. He just guessed. Was she actually trying to just slowly escape? A hunch. I can't with this dude. Sanji, no shot. Are you having a tea party right now? No shot. I can't. He does have a taste for the finer things though. Yes. Well, it's too late now. I mean, I think it's all good. What is that? There's someone in there? Oh, it's a phone. I've heard the phones are like uh, snails. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Who's calling him? <laughs> Who is that? Is it crocodile? It is crocodile. Sanji knows it means business. I guess he didn't see the giant like Mr. Three on the side of the transponder snail. All right, well, let's see how this sort of hopefully wraps up. I mean, it seems like they're, they've really taken care of things. Episode 77. <laughs> the rainbow from the tears. It's beautiful. Oh, he can actually mourn. What? What? His tears are magic. He's alive. Oh my gosh. He actually lives. 
He knows the big boss. Oh, we got a little bit of a look at him. Yeah, he is a warlord. That's right. Well, it does say Mr. 3 on the side. He's putting the pieces together. <laughs> and now he's going to freak out thinking they're, they're there. Or like fighting. Is he going to say anything? How does he play this? Very smart. Unlucky. Oh, okay. Those are like, yeah, give the report. <gasps> oh! oh, shoot. What is that? Is that a pet? Oh, shoot. Yeah, those are the unluckies. <gasps> They're there! Oh, no! They know it's not Mr. 3. Oh, my God! What told me scotch right of a machine gun? So the unluckies are kind of terrifying. Get him, Sanji. They got an eternal post that points to Alabasta. That is so convenient. Nice. Now for the bird. Boom! Oh! Sanji Cole with it, bro! I'm surprised he's able to trick him, like, not even changing his voice. Oh, dang, he killed him. Trip rolled the unluckies. Maybe he does know something's going on. What was that? What is this guy's power? He obviously became a warlord for a reason. He's got to be really powerful. Ooh. He's getting Mr. 3 into some hot water, bro. He knows something's up. I cannot believe Dory's alive, man. Aww. It's so sweet. Well, my boy was crying a waterfall over him. The eternal fight continues. It's a miracle in and of itself. Yeah. Not in the slightest. <laughs> Man just thought he was dead. They're just punching each other. Oh my god! What an adventure. Dude, this lair. Navy catching whiff. I thought the Navy kind of like didn't mess with the warlords. Dude, he looks huge. Oh, there she is. Mr. Two! <gasps> oh. You don't give you don't give wrong orders. Is there a Mr. One or does it go two and then zero? Boy. Crocodile don't mess around, man. Is that like a pet in that room? Well, now they're gonna have to deal with Mr. Two. And if he's stronger than Mr. Three, he's gonna be a nuisance. <gasps> There's the pose. That's what you need. That is huge. Just give it to Nami Sanji. Nothing else. Oh, they got him all bandaged up. <laughs> no wonder they came after us. Oh, I guess that too, yeah. I'm just, gra I'm just glad Karu made it out alive and fine. I love how Sanji still hasn't gotten there and he still isn't part of this. And how they haven't questioned where he is yet. <laughs> A bug? Oh, like a bug bitter? Mm. Guys, you don't need it! You have a one-way ticket to Alabasta now! There he is. Sanji, you missed quite a bit, buddy. <laughs> Luffy's just happy to see him. Oh my god! He lacks so much critical information. <laughs> Aww, such a gentleman. After calling her titillating. <laughs> yeah, I just, just had a combo with him. Yep. Nope. Well, now they're under the impression. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Vivi's gonna be just like overjoyed. Sanji comes in clutch, baby. Aww. Yeah, they would have just started sailing, just guessing or just hoping that they would find their way there. 
All right, you gotta get going. Oh, Bast is in trouble. I want to see what Mr. Two looks like. I'm so intrigued now. <laughs> oh, now it's gonna inspire them. Round old guy and giant old guy. You might have lended us a ride. Oh, dude, I'm so glad Broggy isn't gonna be all alone here. I guess, yeah, wouldn't he have gone back to Elba? Wherever it is. What a successful vacation. Wait, but Mr. Two's going towards Little Garden. I wonder if, it, like, he'll intercept him on the sea. Monster in the Western Sea. I hope he doesn't go straight to Little Garden and kill them. <laughs> They're gonna be the exact same size again, yeah. Uh, either way, they have a ton of food. Yeah, we gotta get going. <laughs> oh, they cut up some of them. Just leaving the pieces behind, bro. My uh, question is, how long is it going to take to find Mr. Two? Yeah. Oh, they're going to help him. That's so nice. What badass giants, man. I wonder what it is. Dang, that's really good that uh, Dora was still alive. About to see them fight? A monster? He said, just keep going. He's going to listen to him. Their capes blowing in the wind. That's so sick. What is it that prevents them? He said no matter what. What are they called again? The giant monsters they are called sea kings, right? I'm guessing it's just a giant sea king. I guess that's kind of an oxymoron. It's the uh, sea kings are just giant. Island eater. What? Like empower each other? I like the contrast of the red and blue. Oh my gosh. What did he say? Just straight ahead, no matter what. No, nope. what did he say? Yeah, you don't turn or anything. Right into it. They're trusting him. Laboon. <laughs> she caught it anyways. <laughs> it's like, oh, that does look good. <laughs> Hey man, Luffy's a bit of a psychopath, but he knows what he's doing. Look at him, calm, coin collected. What are they gonna do? They're still on the island is the thing. It's, they're not even getting in the water. It is a goldfish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eats islands, poops islands. <laughs> Guys. Giant spear. Do they call it down from the sky? No shot. Oh, no. Just blow a hole in it. This is gonna be like a straight up tunnel. If he's like, ah, I knew those giants would pull through. Oh my gosh. Rip the goldfish. And that is it for Little Garden, I, I presume. Unless Mr. Two actually does go straight to Little Garden and misses them on the way. But I think it's kind of like uh, closing off this story with the giants and setting up for Mr. Two to find Luffy and co. But what a way to end it. Again, I'm so glad that, that Dory's alive. Although like, I don't know if it's like cheesy that they let him live and they kind of like took away from his death. But I think it's more appropriate that they, they, they're they both still alive at the end of things because they're, they're just each other's equals. It would have been kind of weird if Broggy had been left alive and then just alone on that island or you were just gone back to Elba. But the thing was, it was their bond that kept them there and like nothing else mattered. It was just that that warrior's pride. I do like the little, the teasing we got of Crocodile aka Mr. Zero this episode and how it's really, really setting him up to be this overarching villain. It kind of reminds me of Don Krieg to another extent or I guess Arlong too. But guys, this has been it for episode 76 and 77 of our One Piece watch through. Don't forget to drop us up on the channel if you are new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.